like this year when you were you know, at home sitting on your couch that you would be in this position winning the division with the Titans? No, ma'am. Uh, I definitely didn't. Uh, I was just very, uh, I don't know. I'm really at a loss of words right now. I'm just so thankful and blessed to be in this position. Uh, God is so good. Um, you know, just being at home, it just it just used to, I guess I would be at home and I would just think to myself, like, man, I just want an opportunity. Somebody give me an opportunity and trust, um, trust in me and just give me the opportunity. I just felt like I could go out there and just play my game and play well. And, uh, you know, like I said before, unfortunately, you know, certain situations happened that, that led me here, but I'm very thankful to be here. And every time I step on that field, I just want to go out there and just give it my all and, and just show that, uh, you know, I deserve to be here. I deserve to be in the league somewhere, you know what I mean? And and just do what I can do, you know what I mean? So. Can you describe the locker room scene as you guys got in there? Oh, it was a lot of music going, everybody jumping around, excited, happy. Um, just a great feeling. You've had a lot of success, especially here of late. I mean, how much is that a result of you kind of getting in the groove, the line kind of getting comfortable with you, and did you kind of feel it today? Uh, definitely. Uh, I've been feeling it through the last past weeks, um, just just getting more comfortable um, and just getting back into the flow of everything. Like I said, I've been, I was at home, and, you know, when you first come back, it's, it's not easy to just jump in and just, you know, go have 100-yard games or just – go out there and be explosive. So it takes time, um, you know, and get build chemistry with the other guys. But, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just so thankful for, for everything that's been given to me at this point. And, you know, I'm just trying to capitalize on every opportunity that I'm given. You have guys like Byron and Tannehill talk so often about next man up. You were one of the next men. What, what has it taken for you to have the success that you have in that situation? Maybe what is it about the culture of this team that, you know, things happen and you just keep going? Uh, I mean, when I was here last year, man, I just felt it, you know, just felt the energy of the team, the coaches, um, and guys that want it, you know what I mean? And just, you know, just people that come to come to work every day and just give it, give it their all and work hard day in and day out. And when I got my opportunity to come back, I just wanted to fit in with those guys. And I already knew what the culture was. So I just wanted to come in here and just do what I could do to help, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I think I'm doing that. What have the guys said to you uh, as far as congratulating your future success and letting you know maybe how much you've meant to the team since you've been here? A lot of guys come up to me, you know, during the game and after the game and just tell me, you know, great game, uh, way to run the ball, keep running it. Um, you know, and that's, that's great to hear, you know what I mean? Just being back playing football and just all the little things that I was missing while being at home, I mean, I, I just take every moment and cherish it. You know what I mean? From the fans to the to my teammates to the coaches, and even the you know even in, sometime in our running back room when you know Coach Dudes is getting on me, like I don't take anything personal. I mean, at the end of the day, like it's a job, and I'm here to try to help this team any way I can. So I don't ever take it lightly. Never, no, no day that I'm here, I, I never take it lightly. Uh, I think my approach was not to try to fill big shoes. You know what I mean? I think the, the approach was just go out there and play my game and um, do what I could do and do what I could do to help the team. I mean, you know, Derek is Derek. You know what I mean? He's a great running back. Um, I think the best in the league. You know what I mean? So to be able to come in and, you know, just try to help this team and, you know, fill in where, where he left off, I mean, it was a challenge for sure because I'm a competitor. So, you know, I never wanted – Nobody to look at me like I couldn't do it or I couldn't get the job done. So, but I never tried to compare myself to him or do anything uh, that he was doing. I just wanted to go out there and be as effective as I could be and help this team win games. I guess the expectation is that he will eventually come back. But I guess you feel like, and I'm sure coaches feel like, you're going to be a part of this team's running game moving forward. And how important is that for you to have continued success? I'm not sure what the plan is. Um, but whatever whatever my role will be, um, I'm going to fit in my role and I'm going to do it everything I can to help the team win. I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, the Titans giving me this opportunity. I'm just so thankful. So it's, it's never anything that I would do to, you know, not be excited, you know, even even if I'm on the bench or even if I'm whatever my role would be. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just here to uh, do my job, do my part, and help this team win games, man.